What's going on devs? Welcome back to AppDev Channel. So in today's episode, we are going to be building from scratch, really from scratch, step by step, a image slider. But we are also going to have the background image change as well. As you can see, the background is in line with the image here. We are going to have event listen using JavaScript on these arrows. So when you click it, it's going to change the image here and also the background image and position both of them in the right place both of them are connected so it's really a cool project i think it's another nice addition to your portfolio if you're new here and you want to increase your web dev skills subscribe and click the bell down below so you get notified every time i post a new video so let's get started Alright guys, we use a VS Code as always, we have also this image folder, there is 5 pictures inside of it, there is a link down below in the video description, so you can download them. Let's go ahead and create our file structure, it starts with HTML, okay, index.html, the second one is going to be our style, and then we're going to have our app.js, our external JS file, alright, it's going to be making our animation, okay. Let's create our boilerplate and start our project. Right at the beginning, we are gonna copy this link from Font Awesome. We're gonna be using two icons here, those arrows, the one on the right and the one on the left. And down here in the in the title, let's say something like image slider JavaScript. Alright. We also need a linking, connect our HTML structure to our CSS. And down below here, we need a link point to our external JavaScript file, okay? Let's start out by creating a div, okay, a wrapper. The one is going to wrap around everything, a slider container. And inside this one, we're going to have five divs, okay? They are going to have the class of slide and also inline style for the background image, okay? And here, URL, let me put the address here. This one is image01, okay? The picture are down below in the video description. Let's just duplicate those line of code so that you have five of them. Remember, the first one is gonna be the active. It's gonna be the one that is active right now, the current one. So let me change the class. Right now, you can't see the image because it don't have a, a width and also a height, okay? But let me make a change here. Okay, it's done. It's still in the slide container. We want to create two buttons, okay? Button and let's give a class of arrow and left arrow, okay? We also need the ID because you're going to be adding event listing using JavaScript, okay, to make the functional. For font also, we will grab those classes here. This is going to give us a icon. This one you can see in the screen. So now we have the first button. Let's just duplicate this one, okay? And now all we have to do is change the left for right. So let me type here okay and as you can see we have two buttons okay now we are in CSS okay where part of the magic happens and let's start by import the Google fonts okay row bold let's grab our universal select and set box size import the box to everything here now we are gonna grab the body the full body itself and let's start by applying that font family, Roboto, and also Sunset as a fallback in case of anything goes wrong. For layout, it's gonna be display flex, align them from the left to the right, but that's not what we want. So we change that to flex direction column, okay? Going to the top to the bottom, all right? Align it at the center, it's gonna align them horizontally, and you want align them also vertically. So we go with justify content center. But to, in order to that take effect, we have to apply a height. So height here is gonna be 100 VH and yeah, just in the middle where you want. Overflow here is gonna be hidden. 
another thing we have to do here is get you rid of any margin all right with margin zero we also want a background image we're gonna hard code this one but in the near future you're gonna be using javascript to outpopulate this one we're gonna do we are doing that right now because we need to style this one okay so let's start by background position is gonna be center center in x and y direction let's also change its size okay with background size is gonna be cover as you can see much better now and let's add a transition okay we want a transition like a slide so let's give it dot for a second and is in and let me save you show you can you see a nice a nice effect here okay devs now we're gonna apply our overlay of our background image we don't want that to be that bright so let's grab the body and have a pseudo class content here is gonna be nothing okay and let's set the position to absolute so you can have a top zero and from the left also zero we start for the top left corner all right and the width here is going to be 100 percent the height also 100 percent so you cover the full body all right and now let's go to the color in here let's set the background color to rgba and let's pick a black color and the transparency is going to be dot seven all right and as you can see we came across with another issue we can't see the arrows they are behind the overlay we fix that with z index minus one okay now we grab the slider container we want to apply a box shadow a zero three pixels offset and six pixel blur let's grab the color black and apply alpha dot 16. let's just duplicate this one and this one is going to be dot 23. we can't see it right now because it does have a height and let's fix that height 70 vh and the width is going to be also 70 vw and now we can see this line here okay let's add a position here is going to be relative and the overflow is going to be hidden okay and now we are gonna grab the gifs the one with the pictures inside of it okay let me type here is slide let me grab both of them the slide and the slide active all right and let's initialize by set the opacity to the slide to zero and opacity one to the slide active okay right now we cannot see the picture because it does have a height and a width so let me apply height 100 vh with 100 vw if i save that yeah we can see the picture but something is not right okay so let's set background position center center x and y direction also background size cover it's much better now and position here is gonna be absolute okay so now we can apply top for the top is gonna be minus 15 vh all right and for left 15 vw and we start to have a nice effect on our page we want to have a transition on the background you also in the slide okay the same one dot for seconds is in z index one so it's in top of everything and for the arrows okay let me give some space and type here the class of arrow the position of both of them we wanted that to be fixed all right the background color is gonna be transparent we also want the color to be white okay for now let's also give it a size some padding of 20 pixels all right let's also add today a high z index of 100 so we can see them for now 
and the font size remember they coming from font awesome is gonna be 30 pixels all right let's also give the a border of two pixels salt and the orange color we want we also want to put them in the middle so let's have set the top to 50 percent so as you can see it's top in the in the middle but we want its middle to be in the middle so transform and translate let's bring it up minus 50 percent and yeah it's right in the middle where we want another thing we should do here is apply to it a cursor pointer so the user know he can clicks on it now we're gonna move to the left and the right arrows and let's put in the right spots okay let's start with the left arrow and from the left here let's pass the calculator when I put the in the left so calculator calc here 15 VH minus 65 pixels and let me save and yeah it's in the right spot let me just duplicate this here and just change from left to right and save and yeah is they are in the right spot but they are over the slide so let's get rid of this z index and for the color let's also change to rgba 226 226 much better now and as you can see we came across with another issue we click on this one and you have this very ugly outline so let's fix that with arrow focus and outline here is going to be none let's give it a try i'm clicking here and as you can see no outline around so let's give it life with javascript our html css is done let's jump into javascript Let's get a reference to the body, okay, document.body, and save into a variable called body. And now we're gonna get a reference to our divs, okay? So query select all is more than one, and grab the class slide. And let's save that in a variable called slides, okay? We have a node list here, we can go through it. And well, let's go to the next one now we're gonna grab the buttons get a reference to them so get element by id because we have those ids left and right and let's save this one to the const called left btn so we can manipulate that later on another get element by id is gonna be the right and we're gonna save that to the right btn so this is our dom and next let's have a variable called active a slide and let's set this to zero now we want to generate i'll generate using javascript the background so let's get rid of the this one the hard coded one in the css delete this one and go back to javascript as you can see there is no longer there so let's out generate out populate this using javascript in order to do that let's have a function set bg to body okay and in here we are gonna take the body and apply the style to background camo case okay when it's through javascript use camo case no hyphens and set equals to slides and whatever is the active slide 0 1 2 3 or 4 and style dot background image right now not is happening because i have to invoke the function let me save it and as you can see we have the background active slide 0. let's have another function now here set active slide okay and this one we're gonna loop through our node list slides using for each and we're gonna have to take every slide here and remove the class active to it okay so class list remove active okay and down here we're gonna 
take a slide whatever activity slide you have here and we are gonna add the class activity to it so now now allow me to show you up here what you have if i change here from zero to one we have the second background if i put two here we have the third one if i put three we have the fourth image so it's working so for the front image here this one all we need to do is add the active class to wherever slide you have here okay if i come to this one and set it to active as you can see is the one that you have if i choose another one like this one and put active to it this is gonna be our active okay so the idea here is we're gonna use in javascript to add event listen to the arrows so we'll click and it's gonna change by itself all right so now let's put those buttons in action let's take the right btn and add event listen on click and once you click you're gonna fire up this arrow function okay and what is arrow function is gonna do this is gonna take our, our active slide and increment that by one and let's also check if Active slide is at the end, okay? So if it's bigger than slide.length minus one, if this is true, we wanna set our active slide back to zero. So the mountainous background. Let me. Another thing we're gonna do here is invoke those functions inside this one the set background body and also the set active slide, okay? Let me save and give it a try. Let's get more space. And as you can see, very beautiful, nice effect, okay? But remember, just for the right arrow. Next, we're gonna take care of the left one. Let's make it functional, okay? So let's duplicate this line of code here and make a couple of change here. Let's give a line here and let's type left, all right? Of course, we're going to add a list or click like the first one. And activity slide, we're going to decrement by one. And here in the logic, we're going to change because we're looking for if this is the beginning. If activity slide is smaller than zero, what we want to do, we want to set our activity slide to the last one so to a slides does length minus one all right and as you can see it's working let me show you we have the background image and the active one this one both of them working very well if you like this video you know what to do subscribe and you always click the little bell so you get notified every time i post a new video see you in the next one bye bye